Hello, welcome back to ARK. The new DLC is finally here, and what may be the final DLC for ARK, Fjorder. I have all of the new creatures spawned in now that you're able to tame and use within the world, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of each creature and what they do and just how they perform in-game. I want to start out with this guy right here, Fenris, also known as Fenrir. The name is interchangeable, so you don't need to worry about messing it up. There's not really much known about this creature right now within the world, other than one, there is a variant that is the world boss that you have to defeat, and two, that's more than likely how you end up taming this guy and get him as a mount. I have an ice breath attack and I have a normal attack. Like I said, this was the most mysterious of all the creatures we're going to get our hands on. I would like to make a note, however, this is really cool. So I got a rune. Oh, I collected it. Okay, and now I have one out of 200 runes. So this is really cool, though. Seeing Fenris from Norse mythology within the world is so cool. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of fanboying right now. Funny enough, Fenris in lore is actually the son, I believe, of Loki and a giant. There is a prophecy that during Ragnarok, uh, Fenris would actually kill Odin, the Allfather, the leader of Asgard. And he does it in one single bite, eating him alive. Not exactly this guy, but his big counterpart boss brother, I guess, is what would cause that. I want to move right into this guy here, because it is a hulking behemoth. I just gave him his saddle, and it is pretty damn cool. So I noticed just getting inside the saddle this little <laughs> bunker that's on its back there's some easter eggs just all over the place we have milnir and just well an arc logo and just some other stuff it's kind of cool to see the inside of this and the easter eggs they hid away i don't think there's anything else hidden in it but we are fairly uh we are fairly tucked away looks like the whole thing is dynamic and moves and we can easily shoot too you shoot really fast actually like our wolf boy there is not enjoying that there's our fjord hawk which i'm going to talk about in a minute and how do you move? You kind of move like um, Triceratops when it's doing its charge. It really doesn't have much of a uh, of a turn. What kind of health do I have? 2,400 health at level 55. I wonder how that scales. Actually, I can find out right now. 2,497. Oh, and he sits down and he's all happy. Can I jump? Okay, so it can jump and it jumps considerably far. If I run into trees, do I topple the trees? Some of them I do. Wow, I actually go through rocks and stuff. This Parasaur is going to be a uh, unfortunate victim of a war crime. That instantly died. Okay, level 40 Parasaur instantly vaporized pretty much. Ooh, but there's an Alpha Raptor down there. Maybe I can mess with that and just get an idea of how powerful my gun actually is. Oh, there's a Spinosaurus down there. I'm going to do the Spinosaurus instead because Alphas are notoriously powerful. And there's water, so I can jump into this and I can see just how dense I am because... I should be able to go down under the water and easily run on the ground. All right, Spinosaurus. Let's see what happens when I start shooting you and how you... Wow. Okay, you're only level 5, though, so I don't really count that. Okay, you know what? I will try to kill the Alpha Raptor. Oh, it was a mistake, I think. I can. I can shoot directly down, which I don't really like. It's not really realistic, but... So it definitely would have killed me, I think, if I didn't turn God Mode on. The gun is pretty cool. You go through ammo really fast. And the Alpha's dead. And then that Dilo is also dead. Okay, so this is a pretty powerful creature. So clearly, this is a very, very powerful creature. It's very cumbersome, too, running around. I'm not uh, I'm not the biggest fan of how hard it is for me to turn. But you can indeed feel the massive weight behind this creature's steps. It didn't really go through water as good as I was expecting it to, in all honesty. But, I mean, it's still pretty good in comparison to a lot of the creatures that you can find in Ark. So the Desmodus in the wild is going to be an aggressive creature that you don't want to approach. If you do, it's going to try and suck your blood, and that's pretty much it. I do have a suspicion that taming this creature involves having blood bags and pretty well a similar way to the, the um, what were they in Genesis 1? I can't remember what they were called, but you know what I mean, those spider-looking things. So yes, I can fly, which is good. Now, this guy's supposed to have a couple specials that go along with him, one being a shriek that will scare anything around away. I don't know what size that's capped at, but... It is what it is, I guess, for now. Invisibility only works at night or while latching, so I can't do that. So apparently I can latch to a tree and activate invisibility. Honestly, I feel like they use the tapijara and its, uh, its movement. That's how this thing moves. It's just like a tap. Here's an Argent. I'm going to try and scare this away with my Screech. Oh, and it hit. I don't think the Argent's trying to get away, though. Oh, wait. No, maybe? 
No, I didn't scare it at all. And I get blood packs if I attack things, which is pretty cool. So I am just... This is, this is going to be the best blood farmer. Holy crap, man. Now, it should also create an elixir or something. Unless you have to craft that yourself with ingredients that you get. But this is supposed to create an elixir that more or less you can then utilize to tame things easily. How about the Carnotaurus? Are you scared of my... No, the Screech doesn't scare these guys off either. So I guess it's just smaller creatures that this Screech will work against. But it is supposed to be a fear mechanic, I thought. It automatically gives you spoiled meat too, it seems. I have a lot of spoiled meat too. That's, um, that's pretty wild. I'd imagine that's just simply because I'm draining the blood from things because I don't think I have the decay timer upped on <laughs> this server at all. Now, if you notice on my inventory, I gave myself a lot of rune stones because I'm going to head over to these giant rune stones and just see exactly what they do. I'm kind of winging it at this point. I don't know exactly what they're for, but we're going to find out real quick. Um, just as a note, too, I still have the Fjordhawk following me. I know I didn't really spend too much time looking at that creature. Most of you, if you're at this video, you know what the Fjordhawk does. You die, it'll bring your items back or as much as it can carry. It'll track down things that you've injured and you tell you where it is and stuff. It can fetch items if you need it fetched. You, you get the idea. It's pretty straightforward, unlike these creatures here that we're seeing now. So this is the rune stone. It's just an obelisk retextured and remodeled. And down here we have some golden statues of creatures. I would assume these creatures are the other gods, the other ones you can fight, I believe. Uh, there, it says it in the DLC, actually. Most likely for the world bosses. Oh, this is really cool, too. So I can activate the green terminal, and I'm able to actually get... So this looks pretty straightforward. I'm able to get this fairly easily, actually. You just need to get some fairly difficult trophies to access it. So it seems pretty easy to get to Fenris. You just need some kind of difficult trophies to get and well obviously your level but i don't know what these rune stones are for then i thought i would use these inside this and i'd be able to do something with it i put all of the trophies in here i can now access the alpha fenris that's going to teleport me to the boss arena i would imagine there are other world bosses and i don't know if they're spawned in the world itself or if you have to use these rune stones that i had access to uh right here in order to summon them i, I don't remember but anyways this hopefully is going to be an experience so let's see what the very last boss before arc 2 is exactly okay i'm here whoa this is wow so where will i find you oh over right there oh my god you are massive you are huge and there's an obelisk right there oh shit okay it's full of traps that Oh, it's little ones. There's little yous. That's adorable. You look disgusting. You look... Oh my god, you look more like a bear than a wolf. Yeah, you actually look more like a bear than a wolf. That is terrifying. Obviously, I can't defeat this guy legitimately, so I'm gonna have to use the kill command, unfortunately, but that's that. Wow, you have some really cool... Bit. This is gonna be a really hard boss to kill legitimately. You guys are going to have a really bad time, I think. It looks so damn cool, though. It, it, I think it's just an upscaled, maybe touched-up version of the old um, model, though, that was used when this was just a simple mod and not like a DLC. All right, I'm going to use the kill command. You're dead. Uh, alpha defeated. You've been rewarded a fin... Oh, you just automatically get one then, I guess. Let me see what you have in your inventory. Nothing special, but I did get Millionaire, and I had... Oh, I got that right there. It's a cryopod. That is how you get it. Oh, but I can't I can't exactly use that. But luckily, I do have a text sword that I can use with Millionaire, and then that is done. So I can put that down on my bar, and now I have... You are not yet worthy to wield Millionaire. How do you become worthy to wield it? Okay, let me go ahead and throw this down. And there you are right there, a legitimately tamed one from the boss. It's got all legitimate stats, and I don't need a saddle to ride you. That is pretty cool. They just give you that once you defeat him. You get one of his wolf pups, basically. Too bad he doesn't keep his aesthetic, but the face is pretty cool. But like, ultimately, I feel like this is just a glorified wolf, you know, with a different model, more or less. Not saying it's bad or anything like that. It's good, but... God, this map is absolutely massive. Hey, we saw the screenshot of that waterfall, I think, in the trailer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this map is, is disgustingly big. Wow. This is like... 
I think this might be the biggest map I've ever seen within Ark. Like, you have a full body of water you cross over. How did they do this techni technologically? Like, how were they able to make the game engine able to handle this? This is this is an insanely large map. So it appears I'm not able to get to the level required to use Milnir because you need to be level 190 to use the alpha version. So I'm hoping the gamma version is a little bit more forgiving and I can do that instead. It'll basically be the same thing, just not as powerful as the alpha version. And this is the gamma version of you. And I got a trophy from you as well, but I didn't get Milnir apparently. So it doesn't give you varying levels of this rare artifact then, it's just the one that you can get. Oh, that's cool, I got flags too. We're defeating them. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty sick. <laughs> that's terrifying actually, that's really cool. I like that. So I found a fairly cool cave, but there doesn't seem like there's anything in here right now. That could just be because I'm really zooming past all of this too. There is some kind of cool stuff around, a T-Rex skeleton that's basically encased in crystal. That's pretty cool. Um, what else is there around? I'll keep following this down and see where this leads. Wait, what's this? What are you, a terminal? Oh, I can access... Oh, this is for the dragon. Okay, so this is how you get the trophies on this map then. You need to find them in dungeons and then that will allow you to do this another rune right here that i can collect now i have two runes but i don't really understand the point of having those rune stones there and then rune stones right here i don't i don't really get that but so in all honesty the only way you can utilize this skit or this so realistically the only way you can utilize milnir is if you get to level 190 i thought the max level was 180 but i might be wrong because i know you need to ascend from different maps and then that boosts your max level. Right now, since I have no ascensions, I have a level 105. That's the maximum I can be. But you can get like 15 extra levels each time you ascend and get explorer notes, so on and so forth. You basically have to, I think, beat Ark. And like if you're on officials, you need to beat Ark on every single map, get all of your levels. And then at the end, you end up here and you're able to wield this once you beat the alpha uh, Fen Fenris. That's, that is, wow. That is a lot of work to access that. All right, you, time to die. Oh, time to die again. There you go. Now you're dead. Now I have Milnir and I have the appropriate level to use it because I logged over on my own server. So I was able to do this. It was a little bit of extra work, but I think it's gonna pay off, hopefully. All right, there is Milnir and I have it. Haha, <laughs> that was easy. All right. Now, does it run off of element? I would imagine it would. Okay. All right, I can throw it. Um, I didn't. No one could do that. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I can toss it around like it's a boomerang, basically, and it flies back to my hand after a while. I don't know if there's a Thor skin, though. Is Does it give you a Thor skin, like, at all? All right, here I am. Back in the... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, damn. That is super sick, but it's not really that powerful, I feel like. Well, I guess it's powerful, but... Yeah, I just electrocuted. That is so cool. Too bad, like, thunder doesn't come from the sky and stuff, too. That'd be really cool, but I guess it is what it is for now. I don't like that you still have the tech sword's ability. That kind of kills the immersion of being able to use this, but, I mean, end of the day, I guess it is what it is. It's really cool that you could throw it, though, like that and recall it. Honestly, for the amount of work that it takes to get this hammer and then what it offers to you, like, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's really cool. But I feel like, honestly, for the amount of work it takes to get this hammer, and don't get me wrong, it is really cool. Like, it is super cool. But the, uh, the, the hours upon hours of being able to get this on officials alone, like, I don't... I don't know. It's um, it's a little underwhelming for what it can do, but I get that you don't want to have something super powerful too. Like I'm only doing 16 damage here, so I'm assuming my lightning bolt attack scales with a percentage of the health of the target that you're you're attacking. Because I mean that that's yeah that has to be how it is. If it has more health, it does like maybe one percent of its health and damage every second or something. So then it's not too overpowered. Like I, I totally get it. I'm not wanting to have this thing like stupidly powerful, but I at the same time this is this is the hammer like it's it is it is the hammer you know like i can't even smite a bug quickly and that's what i'm trying like it shouldn't have taken that long to kill a, an overgrown dragonfly <laughs> like can i reach you if i throw my hammer at you like that no i can't reach you what about from this distance 
Oh, it still didn't make contact. Really? I have to be, like, on top of them. Okay. That's cool and all. And grab it back. I'll keep electrocuting you. Uh, 100 damage. There's that Parasaur there. I just vaporized you. I guess in PvP, this would be all right. Assuming it would work in PvP, it looks like it'll, uh, it'll do, like, AoE damage, too. It'll attack multiple creatures at the same time, which is great. Yeah, wow, it actually... Okay, so this kind of changes it entirely in my opinion if i could just do this with groups of creatures that are fighting each other that's that's pretty cool or even if i had dinosaurs attacking something it's just an automatic lock-on attack so theoretically you probably would be able to do more damage since it's like hit scan compared to like using a bow and possibly missing or a rifle and possibly yo oh god missing it'd be cool if it could stun them though like it'd be really cool i don't think there's anything else that milnir can do like, I'm pressing other buttons. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else it can actually do. So I never really got the chance to do this either, but I wanted to show you anyways, because this guy has an invisibility um, ability, I guess, technically. Whoa, why am I why am I derping like that? It should not be... Why? Why did you... Okay, did you well, anyways, I, I don't have to move for this, but I can actually turn invisible. It's one of the abilities I didn't actually show you because it wasn't nighttime on my single-player save, so I jumped over to my server again, and I'm able to do this now. I think I might have broken something, um, which isn't good, but anyways, you can see invisibility. It's kind of like that chameleon effect you see in some other popular games as well. Um, it doesn't make you completely invisible, which I don't agree with. I feel like if you're just standing here like this, you should go 100% invisible. I honestly do believe that. And if you're flying through the sky, so like you can still see some of the color even on this creature, like around the ears, you see a little bit of red and stuff. But I mean, otherwise, it is cool. So I mean, you know, if you want to get it, then go ahead and get it. I'm going to jump off because I feel like I, I must have broken something at some point messing around with things. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for now on all the new creatures you can get in the new Ark DLC. I'm going to do some testing and see if I can figure out how you get access to the world bosses, but I don't really know where they would even be if they just spawn in the world or if you have to spawn them in using runes. If you know how to get the world bosses, let me know in the comment section and I'll credit you in the video that I make on it. Um, but otherwise, that's it for now. Okay, leave a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.